Hi, my name is Ramadan. Welcome to my AutoCAD tutorial. Today, we will start with uh, drawing this uh, 3D model of anchor clip. We will draw using uh, the common command for AutoCAD, which will involve uh, 3D commands and uh, 2D commands. So, as you see, we will draw this uh, to the end. Okay, let's start. So, firstly, we'll have to switch our views, which is uh, we'll make it top the left one to be top and uh, from there I will start with the base drawing so I'll start with this line of 25 units and then following up with the horizontal line the horizontal line has to be of uh, 58 units let's rotate it and then make it to the left uh, 58 units and let's draw it the line I normally use the uh, on screen uh, command, I don't want to use uh, uh, com uh, command lines. So we we'll make the line here, which is uh, from here up to here, which is one, uh, no, 58 units. Okay. So this 58 has to be on the top line, uh, which is has to be offset by eight units. So let's draw, uh, let's offset this line first by eight units the top okay and then draw another line which is inclined to, on, uh, to the horizontal by uh, 30 percent 30 uh, 30 degrees so we we remove the ortho so that you can get the polar use of the dimension 50 and then in the negative 30 so this line is inclined at 30 okay from there we need to offset the same line so offset by 8 and then trim that part of intersection there. Let's zoom it. Let's uh, trim that one. Okay. Enter. Okay. We are done here. So let's also offset this line, the, the, the left line by 8 because the thickness of our, our anchor clip. And then uh, trim things out and join the line by join this by line from here and to here and also at the end okay create this line we'll join this one okay from here we'll have to join this shape to polyline so uh, what are we doing here okay let's go it uh, let's take and make a dimension first okay okay I'll click here to here but this is not the dimension that we want. The dimension that we want is 58, which is at the top line. So let's measure it from here to that one. So it has to be 58. Okay, it's correct. So that's correct. Let's try also on the other, 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 other dimension of the line. Let's make it has to be 25. Okay, we yeah, are good to go. Okay. So let's try another one this one let's try this one okay has to be 50 is it 50 nah. no. to use it the inclined yes okay click here up to here and then measure it here yes we are good here okay and then we'll have to uh, to join this shape join this Okay, we'll have, because we need to extrude it, so we'll have to convert it to polyline. So extrude it to uh, 40. Extrude it to 40 units. Okay, then click enter. So the uh, slot that we have to make on the vertical. Okay, so let's switch the vertical plane to the top. Okay, make your CS here, and then uh, you have to move our UCS because uh, unless. Uh, let's make this line because we need this line okay to get a good view okay from here to there okay we need to offset this line by around uh, uh, no by the top one we have to use the top one and offset it down uh, for around uh, 10 units let's offset to 10 units Let's set our UCS first because sometimes you, you cannot offset the same plane, so we need to, to anchor our UCS there and then offset it 10, offset by down, okay, 10, okay, maybe 2, okay, then uh, draw a line from uh, this side and then we have to offset it by 14 and then 2. So that one 
I said it again, but uh, <clears throat> so, okay. uh, this one, but, uh, so uh, we need to do some trimming here. So let's uh, find a way to do this drawing. Okay, to trim, make sure that you trim the, the part that are not necessary. This one, okay. Okay, you also have to trim because we have to create a margin from which we want to trim. So this is the boundary. Then trim this side and this side. Okay. There's also one line at the top, I think. Yes, this one. We also have to trim it. Uh, let's find the margin. This will be the margin and this one. Okay. So we'll trim that part and the part. So we first to trim it. We need to join this and then extrude it. Join uh, this one. Uh, select all, enter, and we want to extrude it to the back. I'll pull it back, enter, pull it back, let's pull it back, and then subtract with the base geometry, and then put the one that you want it. Enter. So we're done here. So let's move. We need to create a two slot. Two slot. Uh, so let's try to find where we can put our UCS position. Okay, so we have put our UCS position at this space. So let's draw a line. <coughs> yeah, this line, and then we'll have to offset. Uh, yeah, from here and then to the other point. Yes, and then we'll have to offset it to root 12 because we need to uh, the center of our slope at the center of this color color this slope has to be at top so this is the midline because uh, the slope has to be two, at uh, around uh, 20 okay so let's offset it by 12 uh, in a click here and then in a, okay and then offset again by 18 uh, from the from the previous that we have set it, make it 18. So we'll have to set here and make it 18. So this is the difference. Okay. So we'll have to offset the center line also by 10 each side because uh, it has to be the difference of uh, uh, yes. Okay, the difference of uh, uh, 10. 10 left the 10 right. So offset the center line and mid midline. Okay. So we need to draw our circles. The circle has to be around uh, 6.6 uh, dimension, yes. Uh, and, uh, okay, so uh, circle. So uh, the circle will be 6 by 6. Uh, okay. Yeah, 6 by 6. No, need not this position at the intersection of each. Uh, yes, this one is 6.6. Sorry. And then we'll have to copy it uh, to each intersection. Uh, yeah, copy. Okay. Uh, this point, at that point, at that point. Then we'll have to switch the view over there and then we'll have to draw a line. The line has to be tangential to all the cycles so the circle sorry using cycle but it's circles pronunciation issue okay uh, uh, what we did here is we we click uh, shift and then uh, right click so we got that name okay we have to mirror it uh, mirror this one here and then okay and also mirror that one yes mirror it mirror it uh, click here from the midline, yes, and then we have to mirror again that one from the center of the two circles so on the right slot. Yes, this one, and here. okay. Uh, now we are done, so we have to trim the other part of the circle just to get this slot, join it, and then to extrude. So let's uh, click this one, my uh, this uh, boundary, and this panel. So we need to. Click also this one and this one. We need to trim that and that and also on the same slot, another slot. The same, do the same, enter. Yep, yeah, let's join it. Join this one, this one, this one. Uh, you need to know that uh, in order 
wanted student to join your calf into uh, polyline unless you cannot extrude it uh, very well so extrude it select both this one and this one okay enter uh, scroll down so enter and then subtract click the base model enter click another yes that one that you don't need enter so you have created the cut slot uh, remove the unnecessary lines because you don't need them anymore okay and erase it here you can use command e to erase it or delete key on your keyboard okay so we're done here let's move to other part we need to uh, create the center circles over there so let's find the reference from here but we need to uh, anchor our ucs because we need to get this inclined the face so Yeah, let's anchor it, take this one and uh, click on this front, pull it left for the x axis and then to the top to for the y axis because we need to face the x y plane to draw it. So we are good. Let's offset that line that we, we made. Uh, okay, we we'll offset it at 20 and draw the circles of uh, 25 diameter draw circle center diameter 25 again so extrude it to be down to any dimension because you to cut it you need to create a hole there okay let's view it just see for your advantages if you can just move it okay click that and right uh, uh, subtracting it okay enter so we have created a hole there let's view it that one again Okay, so let's back to uh, our frame. Okay, so we need to clear down this line. We don't need it. So let's make some fillet because uh, we need uh, to make uh, yeah, 20, 20 diameter fillet over here and over there. Uh, click radius here. Yeah. I need to make radius. So let's start again. Let's start again. So, click escape, uh, uh, fill it, yes, this 3D fill it, click this, and then the dot, and enter, click radius, enter, 10, maybe 20, maybe 20, yeah, enter, enter 10, yes, enter, yes, that's it, three times, okay, so we click this, and uh, press it, okay, so in here, we, it looks like we are done, but, uh, to do some fill at the final fillet. Okay, the drawing seems perfect, but we need to do some fillet. Uh, let's switch the UCS back to good. We need to be okay. Let's make some fillet here. Three D fillet. Okay. Ah, yes, I forgot there was one thing we need to do. We need to create some slot. So let's draw a line at the inclined angle. 45 so uh, draw a line here make sure it's not ortho uh, draw around an any length of 50 let's say 50 okay 40 is enough okay 40 and then uh, shift and uh, uh, greater than or equal greater than symbol and then make it no uh, make it 45 and go 50 45 and go this will work it depends upon where you start your UCS so you have to offset this line because we need to create a slot of 50 uh, let's check yeah. is it 45 yeah it looks it yeah, good okay let's uh, offset this one into uh, 2.5 on the left 2.5 on the right no Escape, 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 escape. So let's offset it. So 2.5 is enough. Okay, click the line. This one, click on the left and then on the right. Okay, so you have to join it just to make a polyline and then extrude it downward. You know what I'm looking to do. I'm going to do. So join also on the other end so that you can make a rectangle. 
yes then we can delete the center line because we don't need it now let's show that uh, we don't fail make sure we don't click the unnecessary line and join it uh, yes okay enter so we join it uh, this delete okay here is okay extrude to the down any length any length just extrude it let's view it on the uh, 3d okay subtract click the base uh, click the base and then enter click the one that you don't need enter so we created a slot so the slot is done there so let's find another way to make some filler there are two filler to be done okay Solid uh, 3D fill it. Click that line, then make it down um, five. I think will be enough. Okay, and, and uh, obit your view. I think uh, we did not. Uh, do we see it thoroughly? Yeah, I think we did correct. Mm, let's rotate it again just to get a good view. So I think we are done here. Our model is done. So thank you, my friend. You can also view some other videos just uh, to get a view of anything that you need to draw for AutoCAD uh, in 2D, 3D. If you stuck anywhere, you can just place a comment down. Said I will be happy to reply anytime. And uh, I think you need to subscribe on my channel. Thank you for your support. Thank you for everything. Bye-bye.